Hi, welcome to TD Cat Tech. This is the Baofeng DMR1701 digital uh, radio. Digital mobile radio, as it says on the front. This is just a goods in video, so in this particular video I'm just looking at what's in the box. It's just uh, stuff that's coming in through the door, really. So thanks very much to uh, Radio Oddity for sending this over to me to take a look at. They say this is an updated model. This radio's been out quite a while now, but they say this is an updated model with uh, a slightly better screen or something, And uh, but I haven't seen the original so I can't comment on that. Uh, so maybe someone else can tell me. So let's take a look at what's in the box. Let's, let's take a look at what you get with this. So here's the actual uh, radio itself right at the top. So let's have a quick look at that. Looks nice. It seems to be nicely, uh, nicely made. Yeah, sort of decent decent size in the hand. Push to talk seems okay on it. But there you go, there's the actual uh, radio and you've got a, um, so you've got a male, is that male SMA on the top there? I think so. Channel select button and uh, volume button. So let's just see if there's any power in this. Okay, so it sounds like it's pretty standard, um, standard software here. Haven't made it, haven't done any programming on this one so far. And uh, let's have a look what else you get in here. Here's the, uh, here's the manual, the user's manual, which is all in, this is all in English, so uh, fairly detailed. Looks like there's a reasonably detailed manual there. And you get one of these, uh, one of these adapters with it, because obviously I'm in the UK, so I get one of these adapters which, uh, which break all kind of regulations because of the fact that they, uh, you plug these into the wall and then you are bypassing the secure, uh, I think Big Clive called them a death adapter or something like that because you, um, you essentially have, well, these are just open mains elements then, but uh, you can get better travel adapters than this, uh, ones that actually go within sort of um, safety specs. But anyway, this will do the job and I guess as long as you're careful with it, well, it'll be fine. Then the good thing with the Radio Oddity stuff is that they do actually send you a uh, programming cable. Let me just zoom in a little bit more here. They do actually send you a programming cable, which is nice. It's always uh, good to see because, you know, not everybody has one of these and not everybody wants to buy them separately. And it's nice that they actually send one with the radio so you can do firmware updates and program your channels easily onto it. Then we have a um, power adapter, which is uh, 10 volts, one amp, 10 volts. That's unusual. And, and we also have a, uh, an earpiece here for the radio and a lanyard to attach to it. And then we have a charging base. So the uh, adapter just goes in the, in the back there and the radio just sits on top like that. There we go. Yeah, that seems to, uh, seems to be okay. I mean, I've got a uh, Retavis RT82, is it? Something like that. And it looks, it's similar. It seems to be quite similar, but I guess they're all very similar, these, uh, these radios. They may, they may, in fact, be absolutely identical inside with just different casings on. But this particular one, I think you can pick this up for about £75. And uh, it is analog and digital. Uh, so analog and DMR, so uh, not DPMR. Uh, so, yeah, you can pick, pick this up. It's five watts out, I think, or there's three settings, so I think it's a uh, one watt. Is it one watt, two watt, and five watt um, output on this radio at uh, 12.5 and 25 kilohertz uh, channel spacing. So, uh, what else do we get? And there's the antenna. So, uh, it covers the frequency ranges of kind of 130, oh, probably say on the back, would not it? Does it say on the back? In fact, let me just pop the battery off for you. Yeah, there we go. You can see that. You can see that on the back. If I just zoom in a little bit more for you, you can see 400 to 470 range and the 136 to 174 range. So that covers kind of all around the marine area. Uh, obviously just above the airband and uh, all the marine area and then your standards uh, 400 to 470 which covers all kind of uh, frequencies that you'd cover well certainly in the UK at least uh, you know that you'd be able to license for so um, the battery that you get with it is 
Reasonable capacity by the look of things. It's a 2,200 milliamp hour battery, 7.4 volts. So uh, you'd expect a reasonable life from that. And the aerial just attaches. I must admit, I'm kind of used to aerials being the other way around. The aerial just attaches like that. And that is fairly, you know, decent size aerial. And then a belt clip, which just screws onto the back here. And there we go. That's what we get in the box. So we just put the box to one side and we just move all that into shot for you. Oh, lovely. So this, this programming cable is uh, interesting because it doesn't have any kind of uh, chip in the end here. A lot of these programming cables have, uh, you know, uh, actually stuff in the USB plug to, to do this sort of serial, uh, serial port on USB side of things. But this one doesn't. So I'm interested to see how this works. And there we go. Complete with death adapter. There we go. That's what we get with the Baofeng DMR... DM1701 radio. Thanks very much for watching this uh, Goods In video. Uh, stay tuned though, because I'll be back with uh, various testing. I'll do some uh, uh, video on just sort of programming this thing up and taking a look at the programming software, which uh, some of you may have already seen, because it's probably very similar to other radios out there. But I'll also do um, some further testing of this together with my other DMR radio and just see how well, how well they perform. But that'll be a little bit further down the line. Uh, because those things take time to plan and time is not something that I have much of at the moment. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.